There's so many ducks out in the water. Zed's about to go out there. We'll go check it out. Gotta go up to the shoreline and go reel in our pole. See what we got. Well, I ended up catching nothing but a bunch of algae. But at least we got this gorgeous sunrise. We'll try a new rig in the morning. Hopefully it works. Such a good boy. It's so awesome. Fire in the sky. Changes so fast. So pretty. Welcome back, everyone. We went out for a walk this morning after we got some coffee. And the first thing we found is it's like a little bobcat cave. Super cool. I noticed all the caves yesterday while I was fishing. I'll try to get those for you guys. I hope they came out good on camera. But then just to stumble across that before I walk, that's pretty cool. I like it. Chew. Beautiful Lake Mojave. Found this gorgeous cove right by the campsite. Gonna go see if we can get to the beach. Seth's loving his walk. I'm loving the weather. It's so nice to be out in a sweater in the desert, drinking your warm coffee all huddled up. I love this. Oh, babe. That looks like a really good fishing spot. Can't believe how clear this water is. This is the shoreline that's underwater. Crystal just found some crawdad arms. Such a trap. Oh, it is very shallow. Very, very shallow. From up there, just standing right up on this little ridge. I thought that this was way deeper. I thought I was looking at like two to four feet of water. Like the six river. Inches. Six inches. <laughs> yeah. This is for skimboarding. No, just kidding. It would be fun though. Get pulled by a boat, skimboard behind it. Huh? It is just the arms. Well, yeah, there's no body on it. Good beauty. I thought maybe he was in the scene. You're so cute. I love her. That's sad. All the little caves. Probably used to be for animals, bass, everything. Feels a bummer. Well, bye bye for now, little cove. Don't trip. Don't trip. Take chip. Might slip, fall in the bean deck. We're about to go through these bushes and head back the other way. There's a bunch of coyote prints everywhere. Zed. Zed gets wily with the coyotes. This big papa. It's hard to see them. They look really old though. That is a perk, but they could have just been down here when the water level was like up here. Those good ones? There's a good one. Big old paw print. In my hand. Pretty crazy. Unless someone let a hopper out here. I don't know. My buddy's got a cane corso. It's like 160 pounds. It's bigger than me. He makes paw prints like that. I don't think hopper's been here anytime soon. That's so cool. Boom. Almost the size of my hand. That's gnarly. Look at that. That's crazy. That's a big doggy. 
Uh, don't they have Mexican wolves out here too? I think there's Mexican wolves in the area. I'll look into that. Alright everyone, so I looked into it and there definitely is a possibility that that was a wolf paw print that we saw. The Arizona Fish and Game and other governmental agencies in Arizona and New Mexico have been slowly trying to bring back the, the once endangered Mexican wolf. There's over 150,000 square miles that these wolves are allowed to freely roam on between Arizona and New Mexico. So it definitely could have possibly been one. Who knows? Here's a sneak peek at our next spot too. Have to stay tuned for that one. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button for us too. It all helps out. Thank you so much. Now back to the video. All these bushes used to be underwater. You can see the water line. They came up. Everything went underneath. So this entire area probably used to be a playground for bass. They like to hide and cover inside of things like that. Make little bass homes. Love being out here. I love how the morning can just turn into an adventure. Never know what you're gonna find. Never know what you're gonna get. That's super cool. Is we just found all these shells. All the shells. That's so crazy. I wonder what these are from. If y'all know what lives inside of this, let me know in the comments. It's crazy this hike back out. Way harder to get out than it is to get in. That's funny. Something about the desert. What does that? You guys see what I got in store. All right, y'all. Got a fish trap set up. A couple of triangle weights on the bottom. Hold it down. Uh, last night I was catfishing. Big old octopus hook. Like seven or eight. Say so seven, eight. And every single crumb of bait was chewed off of it like this hook was clean clean i kept getting little tugs so i'm guessing and i'm pretty sure that that means that it was either crawdad or small fish i'm going to put this trap out and see what we can catch it's just a cheap little trap we ended up finding it in big bear we patched it up made it work fish go in and they can't get out Cleared up a bit. I'm gonna drop it out with the paddle board. We got 25 pound test mono tied to the fish trap. Some good old cheap line. Put that in my pocket. Take the fish trap, the board. Still gotta put the paddle together. Gonna go drop it out there. Let's see what we can get. I'm gonna try to drop it in the same area that I dropped that catfish bait. Hopefully we get something good. See you out there. There she goes. That was such good placement. Now I just saw like an entire school of small fish come out to check it out. Good morning everyone. It's a windy one, but We've got a fish trap out there that we need to go check. Left it out overnight. I hope we got some crawdads or something. Sorry if the audio sucks. We might just have to do a day of editing. We'll see. All this wind makes it too crazy. I'll check back in with you guys when we get the trap. You. So we had some success. Had some success. Oh my God. Nice hey. red crawdaddies. Wild crawdads. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Get that crawdad in my tummy. <sighs> Alright, I got the crawdads outside. I'm going to make us a nice little pink Himalayan salt ice bath for them. So Kiki, she's like, where's my crawdads? You can actually feel this water get colder as you're mixing it with your hands. That's how you know it's ready. 
me this guy. Come on, bud. Straight in, head first, into the ice. And they're out. So once you put them into the ice bath, that automatically puts all the crawdads out. They're nice and sleeping just like they would inside of a frozen lake. It's one of the most humane ways that you can put out the crawdad and consume them without causing them any pain. Nice stone crawdads. Ready to go in the freezer. Something about drinking your coffee and a view like this. That I just won't forget. And I don't know if I could stop doing this. This is epic. This is finally the day where I'm feeling comfortable. Like, so comfortable with the spot that I don't want to leave. Well, next we gotta figure our way down this though. We've got the gorgeous hike. But we wanna go down and scope out the beach. Let's go that way. In my flip flops too. Made it. Good boy. You. So nice. I love this. I love this stuff. Nothing like rock climbing in the morning. Get your blood flowing. Get your energy pumping. So much fun. Mm -hmm. The coyote's prince went out to the sandbar to get a drink of water. There's Neanderthal prince too. This is so so cool. There's no Neanderthal. That's what we call human. H U M A N. That's what skeptics call humans. Whoa, I'm a skeptic now. Oh, there was a sunken ship in the water. 